Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 21st of March. I'm James Spann. Kind of a wintry mix for parts of North Alabama tonight. How about that for springtime? Uh, we'll check some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. Clouds are starting to increase. That's the uh, Chiha sky cam. And uh, some high clouds there. You have to wonder if they're going to see some snow up on that big mountain uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. They're at uh, 2,400 feet. That is a very real possibility. It'd be fun to be up there uh, uh, one of the cabins or the chalets. There's our Gadsden sky cam, mid-level clouds overhead. Those about 20,000 uh, 20, feet and very much the same sky coming from Coleman. Big trough over the east. That's the reason it's so cold today. I mean, it, does not, it does not feel like uh, spring. Uh, some folks up in the Tennessee Valley are not out of the low 40s. We ought to be in the upper 60s. And it'll be chilly tonight. And with the disturbance coming in, that could set the stage for some wintry issues. That's a watch warning map. Look at Memphis under a winter storm watch for tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, winter storm watches for parts of northern Arkansas and uh, southern Missouri. And I, I say winter storm watch. That's actually a winter weather advisory. Take that back. That's not quite up to winter storm watch level, but still pretty remarkable for late March. And here, the counties in purple, that is a red flag warning for the potential of wildfires because the air for now is so dry. Uh We'll dig into the snow possibilities in a moment. First off, the convective outlooks. This is for the rest of today and tonight. A small, slight risk over North Texas from near Fort Worth up to Wichita Falls. Tomorrow, no formal risks, just the low-end 5% possibilities from West Alabama over into eastern Texas. And this is the day we'll have to watch for severe weather. This is Saturday, day three, a slight risk, and that's the standard risk over about the southern half of Alabama, southern Mississippi, southern Georgia. And based on the latest data, that outlook looks very good. I'd say for the northern part of Alabama, chance of severe weather not all that high, but definitely a chance for the uh, southern half of the state. Rain for the next five days. This uh, shows one to two inches here. Sounds about right. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And this is the chance of greater than one inch of snow on the ground. And uh, basically, those percentages are out of Alabama. And any accumulation we see here tonight, tomorrow morning, would be light uh, under one inch. In fact, uh, you know, barely a trace in a lot of spots. But let's take a look. This is the uh, uh, 12Z GFS valid at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You can see an energetic flow in the southern stream there. And down below that, uh, we'll have rain uh, tomorrow. Again, this is at 1 o'clock. But let's look at the uh, late night situation. This is the RPM valid at 1 a.m. This is just after midnight tonight. You can see that little finger of precipitation coming in here. And I can easily see what's going to happen with this. I think it starts as sleet. The air is so dry in the low levels. And a lot of times you'll get sleet with that. So don't be shocked if at, uh, you know, 11 o'clock midnight tonight, you hear little ice pellets bouncing around, uh, around here. And there could be a few snowflakes mixed in with that. Um, but I, I really think for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, mainly sleet, maybe some snowflakes to the north. Now, this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and the, and the RPM is suggesting the better chance of any snow would be over northeast Alabama, from Huntsville down to about Fort Payne and Gadsden. Uh, and there could be some light accumulation on grassy areas, and there might be a slick spot somewhere, but I would say widespread travel issues are just certainly not likely. Uh, but if you're traveling up into northeast Alabama, just keep that in mind. For Tuscaloosa and Birmingham and Anniston, just uh, some light rain, a patchy light rain tomorrow morning. And then at uh, 1130, this is midday, some heavier rain showing up on the RPM. That looks pretty uh, wet. Uh, but, of course, at that point, it'll be all rain, a cold rain. Uh, we, we might be in the 40s when that's coming down. All right, Saturday. Here's the next uh, issue is the severe weather potential. This is a look at uh, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. A surface low is over Texas, uh, a little west of Abilene. And a warm front is going to be extending from that. And where the warm front, uh, you know, winds up, that's where you're going to have the uh, severe weather potential south of that front. And really, the GFS is drier. Uh, it's coming in with a chance of a little light rain, but not that much on Saturday. And uh, we've seen other uh, models do the same. We might kind of back off on the coverage of the rain. Um, this is Saturday night at uh, just after midnight. The surface low is near Meridian, and the greatest chance of any severe weather will be southeast of that low. And again, that jives up nicely with the SPC outlook for the southern half of the state. Uh, this is Saturday night off the NAM. It's got the surface low near Greenwood, Mississippi, um, a little farther north and west. Uh, 
But again, the, the idea of South Alabama getting the better severe weather chance, I think, is good. This is the instability, the lifted index. And this is valid Saturday evening at 6 o'clock and uh, or sorry, 7 o'clock local time. And you can see that there's no surface-based instability now over the northern half of the state. It's all down south, south of U.S. 80. And uh, the shear values are just not that impressive on the latest run here. So, uh, you know, for North Alabama, the chance of severe weather Saturday looks pretty small. Uh, there could be some storms over the southern half of the state, but with this limited shear we're seeing here, uh, the tornado threat would not be all that great. Uh, the main issue could be hail and strong gusty winds. Uh, but as always, uh, when it comes to storms, expect the unexpected. We'll be watching. Sunday, the surface low is north of Nashville. We start to turn colder, and it could be a day where temperatures fall. We might wind up, you know, in the mid-60s in the morning, maybe winding up in the middle 50s by afternoon, maybe 40s up in northwest Alabama. Clouds will linger, maybe some light rain or drizzle, but the heavier uh, rain is gone. And then Monday and all of next week, it's just cold. Um, there's Monday, Tuesday. Look at the thickness values really coming down. I mean, Tuesday, we're not going to get out of the 40s if this is right. There's Wednesday and really all of those mornings, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, all four of those mornings could feature a freeze. It will not feel like spring, but it will be dry next week. And here's the deal. Look at that Arctic oscillation. I mean, it is coming down. That's about as, as strong as it ever gets. It's a minus six. And uh, looking at some of the uh, historical AO numbers, you just don't see that that often. So a very strong negative AO helping to push down the uh, cold air. Go out there later in the period. This is April 2nd. That looks kind of wet. We've seen pretty good evidence of some type of storm rain event around the 1st or 2nd of April. And by the 6th of April, uh, that would be uh, seasonal with maybe a shower, but nothing too bad if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs>